What's up everybody? It's TJ and today we're going fishing. We're gonna take the kayak out but as you can see it is dirty. There's stuff just piled on top of it in the garage so I gotta get all that stuff off and get my rods rigged up so that we can hit the water. I got these new Plano Edge tackle boxes I'm really excited about but I haven't switched my tackle over. Um, I got another thing from six cents that I haven't even filled up yet because I've just been feeling under the weather. I haven't been playing video games or filming or fishing all week. I've had like headaches and stuff. Don't worry, it's not COVID. But today we're gonna hit the water. It feels good. It should be a good day outside. I'll show you what I tie on when we get to the water, uh, but I'm thinking like a swim jig. And of course, you know, I'm gonna be throwing a weightless worm as well. Now, there's actually a couple exciting things happening this weekend that I don't want to spoil in this video. I'm waiting on a couple things to line up, and if they do, we're gonna have a couple more videos coming out uh, really soon about some really exciting stuff uh, for me, kind of for the channel, but mainly like personal stuff that I can't wait to share with you guys. So right now, I'm going to clean off the kayak. I'm going to rig up my two rods. I don't even have line on my other ones, which I wish I did because uh, there's three different presentations that I wanna throw today, but I'll just probably have to switch back and forth. But let me take care of all this, and then we're gonna go hit the water. Quick little update y'all, I got all the way to the boat ramp, back down the ramp, had everything on the kayak ready to drop it in the water, about to get my uh, GoPro fired up and realized that I left my paddle all the way back at home. So it's gonna be close to an hour before I get on the water. I did see some fish busting on some bait fish uh, right there at the boat ramp, so hopefully that's a good sign for today because I am gonna be using uh, some swim baits, a swim jig, stuff that's gonna imitate that bait fish. I'm trying to get back home literally just to get my paddle and head straight back to the ramp and uh, there is just ungodly traffic like there must be a wreck or something up here like what even is today I guys finally made it back got everything on the kayak the GoPro is ready to go got my paddle got my life jacket everything is ready to go I'm gonna park the Jeep we're gonna switch to the GoPro and we're gonna get to fishing well hey guys welcome back to the kayak you're probably gonna get a few more kayak videos this year the weather's been really good it's actually so it's the beginning of november and i think it's like 75 outside right now but the water feels really good i see some bass uh like baby bass chasing some bait fish so actually today i'm gonna start uh, with the guggenbaits swim jig and i'm gonna put a saucy swimmer on the back as a trailer i'm gonna go ahead and do this before i push off of the boat ramp and when i turn around i've seen some fish chasing out here so i'm gonna go ahead and get started It's time to get started. Um, our friend David, his boat is actually in the shop, so we'll probably be doing a lot more kayak fishing until that gets fixed. <coughs> I'm hoping David and I can collab on something different. He had mentioned maybe going pond hopping one day, which would also be really fun. And one thing about these Guggenbaits saucy swimmers, and I probably need to chop off some of the skirt from the jig, but man, that tail is kicking so much, giving it so much action uh, as it comes through the water. So 
here's a thought that I've been having lately. Um, everybody's really nice. Like all the boats that go by, everybody weighs. Really like the culture of fishing and everything. After fishing on David's boat for you know like the last month, uh, it's just a whole different ball game. And I know like some people get into kayak fishing and like that's their number one thing. But my end goal is to get in a boat and fish tournaments and stuff like that. It just allows you to cover you know so much more water in such a less amount of time. Store all your stuff like. A little bit less of a hassle I guess so I'm having these thoughts about potentially selling it you know I've got this vibe sure water 125 it's almost perfect it's the pre-order exclusive uh, trim pre-order exclusive color it has a little bit of wear on the sides from a uh, when I was car topping it but overall man it's in almost great shape so I'm having this thought about potentially selling it but I don't want to do that and then not be able to get on the water at all. But maybe I can find like a cheap John boat or something. I don't know, just thoughts that I'm having. I could still feel like a little bit of tension in my right side of my head. And then that dog, dude, literally was barking before I could see it. I thought it was like, uh, I thought it was just like a dog, like maybe somebody took on a walk. With those stupid, like loud boats that sounded like they were about to fall apart. That dog barked the entire, like, time down this little creek. And like when it got beside me, it was like leaning out of the boat, like barking like, you know, I don't know, maybe like 15 feet away from me, but like as loud as it could. I don't know if it was mad that I was here, or if it was uh, scared because it was in a boat, but good night, my head hurts now. How in the hell, dude? I just I, okay all right so I got the braid off all the way down to where um, the knot was or where it was like wrapped over itself um, unfortunately I didn't bring any other line to tie another leader on uh, and that's really important so I don't really know if I'm gonna continue to use this or not looks like we're just gonna switch to the swim jig um, if we get desperate I guess I could tie something straight onto this and then just put a leader on it when I get home. I think I'm wrapped around my entire kayak right now. Now maybe reel it up under the boat. Y'all, I'm just straight up not having a good time out here today. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the universe is uh, just telling me today is not the day to be fishing. Guys, that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys for coming along with me unfortunately between forgetting my paddle getting stuck in traffic that dog barking so loud get bringing back my headache um, 
the weather's actually really good. It's like super cloudy out now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, then throwing, somehow getting this huge tangle in the braid on my spinning reel. I was able to get it out, but I forgot to bring line to tie on another leader. It just, today just wasn't the day. I've been out here to this spot probably four or five times and I've had one really good fish on and maybe like one or two other bites. Uh, honestly, probably not gonna put in here. Uh, I'm not gonna say ever again, but probably ever again. I'm really excited about this weekend though. I have one video for sure that I'm gonna film two I'm, pro I'm, I'm pretty sure the other one's gonna get filmed too. So check back in the next day or two. There's gonna be some really cool videos on this channel uh, that pertain to, really to me personally. I think you guys will enjoy them as well. As always, if you enjoy yourself, hit subscribe. We're trying to grow this community, this channel, this brand. And we'd love to see you guys next time right here, youtube.com slash See ya.